Men of Reddit, how many opportunities with girls have you missed because you were too naive to notice? I once had a friend of my cousin sit beside me and ask for a light. While she was sitting next to me. She ever so gently started to lay her head on my shoulder. I turned around and said you got your light. What are you still doing here? I was like 14 but I still haven't forgiven myself for that one. In high school. This nerdy weep girl straight up more or less said she wanted to come over after school and suck my dick. I can't remember exactly what I said but pretty much laughed her off. I was shy and incredibly insecure with my body image. I've always been a bigger boy with a not so big item where it counts and girls don't like fat dudes with tiny dicks. Right? I'm still insecure okay? Don't judge me I have issues. Came across her on Facebook years later and goddamn had she gotten hot lol. My second girlfriend decided to cheat on me and a week later a co-worker did the whole wanna come over to my place? Thing. I went over. Still feeling pretty upset over. You know. She answers the door in a top cut so low I could see everything she had to offer. We just sorta sat there. Awkwardly and watched a movie. Then played Smash Bros for 2 hours. Several girls left their phone numbers in my high school yearbook. Many with hearts and call me notes. Fast forward to some time later. I'm flipping through it for nostalgia's sake. It finally clicks. They weren't just making sure I had accurate contact information. Years later. In my 30s. At least one that I've later recognized. I was out with a good friend of mine. We'd been going out having fun watching sports together and drinking and I always saw her as a friend. There was a little in selling of yeah I really like her but I just never thought she was interested so I just never followed it up and was happy being mates. Anyway we're out drinking and she starts ranting at me about how I really should tell a girl that I like her and she went nuts. I was like okay what's your problem? Anyway I went to the bar lady and got her number. After that she went quiet and was like switched off. I was like WTF. We've been friends ever since and talk now and then. I left the country around that time and we went out for a leaving drink hangout thing. Got a taxi home and she literally little hug and a bye and walked away. Years later I'm like a that's what it was. I did good. Have wife and kids life is good. She on the other hand meet some dude and married him had 3 kids. He turned out to be a wife beater and she ended up in a woman's refuge. I feel really sorry cause she deserved a lot better. Just once. She was a good Hasidic girl and I'd known her for 2 years in uni. Didn't pick up her thirstiness at all. I missed out on a threesome once cause I thought my wife's friend was still dating a friend of mine. Let's see. There's the one that asked me to prom. The one that flat out said she liked me. The one that invited me back to their room. And last but definitely not least. The ones, yup. Plural, that asked if I wanted to watch a movie at 2am. A girl in my freshman year of high school said out loud to our English class that I was hot. I want to go back in time and smack myself for not giving her my number. The only girl that ever hit on me only liked me for about 2 minutes because I had a scar. After that. She went back to ignoring me completely. A few. But one really gets me cause she ended up hooking up with a guy that everybody claims looks almost identical to me. So I was kinda pissed when I realized I fucked up. Me and my friend always hang out and go for a walk. Not any more BCS of the pandemic. Once we were walking and there were two girls there. We sat on a bench talking together then we notice they keep showing up in front of us talking louder than usual. I am pretty sure they were trying to start a conversation with us. They kept going a distance back and forth so they kept showing in front of us. My friend told me they act weird do you think they have a thing for us? I said nah why would they? I fucked up many situations with girls that I am coach now. Oh man was. Okay so when I was just 18 I had a friend who was a lesbian. Once she said she'd love to have some naked pictures taken of her and her girlfriend together but didn't want to use a disposable camera because. Yeah no getting them developed. Welp. I offered up my digital camera. This was before phone cameras. She went on about not knowing how to use it. Or wanting shots from a further distance. Or specifically angles. Wanting the photos to be organic and not staged. Every single time I explained the future there was another problem she thought of and it would be so much easier if someone could take the photos with them. But that'd be weird. 
right? Probably 5 years later I realized she was inviting me to a threesome and I had no clue. I have been one of those good guys for 4 years of my high school. Not like simp kind of a guy. More like somebody who believed in values and have been looking for stable relationship with one and only girl. I couldn't image sex with somebody who wouldn't be potential wife material. From perspective of time I see how many sex opportunities I have missed and it's making me feel cringe about my high school self. Some of those girls been really hot. A good couple of times a random girl has bought me a drink. Every time I just thought the girl was stupid while I got a free drink. I'm a little bit more cautious now. On a couch surfing trip. Staying with this college girl who lived in a dorm. Just got there. We popped some drinks. Sat down at the kitchen. And started talking. We get to the topic of couch surfing itself. And the people who use it to get sex. I explain that it seems kind of dickish to me to write to a girl that you want to see the town or whatever and then bug her for sex. And I asked her if she wouldn't mind if a guy pulled that on her. No I wouldn't. We carry on talking. A few days later. I conclude my trip in that town. Say goodbye to her for being such a great host. And move on to the next one. So I'm taking a walk out of castle. Looking over the battlements at the horizon. And our past conversation pops into my head all of the sudden. So you wouldn't mind if some guy from CS told you that he wants to stay at your place or NDC that town or whatever and then tried to get into your panties once he arrived here? No. I wouldn't. Our line is gonna end with me. When I was studying in abroad in Argentina. A fellow exchange student tackled me and started putting chapstick on me. It turned out it was a glue stick. I'm still confused. But I had a huge crush on her at the time. In high school I had a good number of male and female friends. I was interested in a lot of the girls but just assumed they weren't interested in me. Fast forward 10 years. I've had at least 5 different girls say to me. You know I had a huge crush on you in high school. And it just never happened. I haven't had a lot of missed opportunities. But I remember one that was so fucking cringy that I had to change my whole perspective on dating because of it. It was the summer of last year. People were having their graduation parties. And I went to one with my friends and some girls. One of which liked me. I knew them that she fancied me. But I was sure it wouldn't go far. As I didn't like her that much. And I thought it would have been weird to meet later in class and all that. Throughout the night we stayed together. We drank together. And we even went away from the party to sit in a little cliff at the side to look at the stars. She even went as far as using my arm as a pillow. She was clearly giving me an opening. But I was too scared to act. So we stayed like that until we went home. Since then I've decided to throw caution to the wind and go for it. I lost a perfectly good chance with someone that, while not my dream girl, wasn't bad looking. I just hope that whole fiasco didn't hit her self-confidence too much. I don't even want to think how much effort that had to take. As she wasn't the most confident person. I only have one that sticks with me to this day. A girl I liked in HS liked me back and I even brought up in passing about being in a relationship where she basically said yes but I was way too stupid to do anything. In college I had a girl drive me home after a night of drinking. She was really religious and didn't drink so she often served as DD to get us all home safely. She came up to see my place and at some point randomly and awkwardly said that she's never seen a man naked before. I thought. That's a strange thing to say and went to bed. About 5 years after graduating I was thinking about her and that night and then wait a minute. It hit me like a ton of bricks how naive I was to not understand what happened. A girl asked me out in school and I said are you being serious? I meant it because I thought she was way too good for me. She obviously took it as an insult and I was too young to understand this at the time. I once had a female friend who'd make sexual remarks towards me and express the want to do sexual things with me. I'm still not sure if it was just because it felt good or because she liked me romantically and wanted to be with me. I know for a fact I have missed a few. The problem is that I fail to notice they are interested. I just don't seem to know the difference between a flirt and a friendly conversation. My friend had a crush on a girl who liked him back. They used to talk a lot on the phone and going out together they basically were in relationship. 
but my dude thought it should be official XD. So he pulled her somewhere quite in school and asked her do you want to be in relationship with me? I love you she replied what the fuck is wrong with you we are going out for a month. This one single move made them break up. Two that I'm aware of. In a pub with friends. I go to the bar and order a drink. There's a girl at the bar and she's dancing a little. I join in and give a little shimmy. She laughs and says you're probably just taking the piss. At that point my drink arrives. I pay the guy and say to the girl nah I'm just shit at dancing too and walk back to my seat. I sit down and then have my light bulb moment. Look back to where she is and she looks upset. Oops. Sorry. Another time. Another bar. Another drink. As my drink is set down on the bar in front of me a girl comes up next to me and says I want to buy you a drink oh thanks. That's nice. But I've just got one. No. I want to buy you a drink that's really kind but I've literally just got one I want to buy you a drink um. I've already got one. What's wrong with this girl? Go back to my seat and then the realization hits. Oops again.